Apparently this evening I have a date with an Autobot. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. All right guys, Ace of Vegas here. And I think that's my self-driving car, the Aptiva, apparently. Oh, I guess it's not a self-driving car. Okay, cool, cool. Let's just get in. Okay, this is slightly better. Um, so yes, it actually turned out that my car was indeed a driverless car, which was actually kind of cool. Um, so now it was escorted by two human uh, engineers. Uh, it was Tyler, and I want to say the other guy's name was Rob. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Uh, but they were my engineers for the drive, and they explained a couple things. So I wasn't allowed to take any videos or photos, ask them about that, and just because of their agreements, they're not allowed to have people do that. They have some new technology. Technology. And I think that's cool. They should be able to do that. But they had this cool little heads-up display on there that had a virtual uh, map out of what the car was doing and what it saw. So it sees things a little differently. It doesn't use cameras like the other ones, the Aptiva cars. Not sure if you guys have seen them. I'll see if I can get some footage of these Aptiva cars for you and put it up over uh, over myself. But these Aptiva cars, they use these different displays. So they can actually physically see what's going on via laser lights. So they fire off all these lasers back to back um, off of all these different pucks. Like most of them are below the car, above the car, on the windows and on the mirrors and all that. But it still looks like a pretty basic BMW. So I think it's pretty dope, honestly. Um, another interesting thing about it is, um, so it did come up in the Lyft app. Uh, so I didn't have to do anything special. It just said driverless car and I said, okay. And then it came up and now that I've done a driverless car, I'm more likely to get a driverless car in the future. So I might see if I'll get another one and see how that goes. Um, let me think of something else interesting about it. So they started doing that. It's uh, what's called a level four autonomous car right now. Um, so it means it can so it can see traffic. It stops uh, at road hazards and things like that, but it doesn't recognize like turn signals. Um, now it does react to something that moves into the lane and all that, so that's pretty cool. But they do need manual. They do need drivers to engage in things like uh, unexpected construction. The car doesn't see that yet. To engage in things like uh, flashing lights. So if they see uh, if they see emergency lights, like firemen or uh, policemen or uh, EMTs, anyone like that going through with the ambulance or the or just the fire engine, it doesn't see that. So it's got to. So you got to keep it, keep that in mind. It doesn't see that. That's why you have a driver there that disengages. It. Uh, so that's actually pretty cool, and it's actually reprogrammed, like the cruise control is programmed to be like an auto, you know, autopilot, which I think is pretty dope too. So I was talking with the engineers, they said it was pretty cool, they're like really close to getting it fully driverless. It won't be for a while though, partially because of the technological limitations, and also because they have agreements with the casinos too. So uh, I guess on private property, they are not allowed to go driverless because the casinos don't want it. It's private property. They're allowed to do that, and they can keep them off of it if they want to. So, needless to say, they abide by the casinos' rules um, and their regulations because they want to make the business. They want to do the business, and it makes perfect sense. So, you know, always good time. Um, would I ride again? Yeah, absolutely. It wasn't that much different from a regular Lyft ride. I was a little concerned because I thought I was going to be talking to the car and nothing was going to happen. Um, so maybe in the future when we have fully autonomous uh, cars, I can check that out too and we'll uh, see how that goes. Um, but in the meantime, I am signing out. I'm going to get ahead and get ready for this really, really great dinner at one buffet, I'm hoping. So hopefully this one's even better than Aria. And Aria was pretty good. That was a really good uh, brunch slash lunch buffet, so I'm hoping that this one's gonna be really good too. All right, so see you guys soon. Peace.